are still living in tent villages. The New York City Police Museum wants you at its new Discovery Zone. It's a new interactive exhibit highlighting police work and the different jobs that are within the department. Here plans Roger Clark is in Lower Manhattan with okay. more on the display. And Roger, part of that is being physically thin, and that's what you're testing to see if you are, right? Yeah, well, you know, Chris, and to be a police officer, you have to be in great shape, and this is this agility test that they have at the police academy, I guess, and it's really tiring, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just start there, I'm kind of running out of breath here. <laughs> Did it stop yet? Is it almost over? It's not. Oh, it's, oh. There you go. Wow. Oh, gosh. What a, nine points. I don't think I made it. <laughs> out of how many? Were, how many were you supposed to get? I don't know how many you're supposed to get, but I don't think it's nine. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that... that I don't think, I, yeah, I don't think the police is in my future at this point. <laughs> but, uh, but, Kristen, um, this is, uh, you know, this is New York City Police Museum, and this exhibit is called the Junior Officers Discovery Zone. It's all cool, all about kids. Boy, am I out of breath. Man, I ain't got a, sorry, I got to join a gym. Holy mackerel, Julie Bose. Help me, executive director of the uh, police museum here. Um, great. I thought you did great. You were excellent. <laughs> I'm like on my way out here. This is terrible. Um, <laughs> this is an amazing exhibit. So much fun. Tell me a little bit about how you got the idea for this to be here. Well, we wanted to create a space that was designed exclusively for children. And we see 15,000 school children here a year, which is a tremendous number for a small museum. And a lot of them come from all over the city and outside the city. We wanted to create a special space for them. And I actually am standing here with Leslie Bouchara from the Children's Museum of Manhattan. Mm -hmm. And I have young children myself, and I took my children over to the Children's Museum of Manhattan, and they have a beautiful playwork space. And I contacted them and said, that you guys are the early childhood experts. We need to work with you. Can you help us? And they were tremendous partners. We're delighted that we were able to work with them. They were great, and they have helped us design this absolutely beautiful interactive space for children. And Ali, I have Leslie Bouchard, as you mentioned, from the Children's Museum of Manhattan. And you guys have a similar exhibit there that has fire department and the bus, but this is all about the NYPD. That's right. Um, our exhibit has a talking dragon and five different interactive areas and an art exhibit, but this one was really specific about the police, and we wanted to be able to help, and it's wonderful to collaborate, and it's great to, you know, have an experience here and then come up to West 83rd Street and come to see Playworks. Well, thanks a lot, guys. We appreciate it. I'm going to go back. Uh, Lindsay, Lindsay uh, follow me here, because... I need to try this again. I feel like I, I, I want to try and beat nine. Uh, if, but uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, we are at it's 100 Old Slip in Manhattan, Kristen, uh, for the New York City Police Museum. And uh, the website, check it out, www.nycpm.org. And here I go again. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> go. Okay, here You're I go. For I'm getting more than nine this time. Oh, wait, I forgot the... You don't have... <laughs> oh, no. You, you just lost time there. You think I could do it? I don't know. I think you lost some there right there. All right. We're going to let you go. Good luck, Roger. Okay. Thanks, Kristen. <laughs>